Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome back to part 11 of my Discover University Let's Play. So we're reunited with the girls and like I said in the last part, we have a lot lighter term this time around, which means we're hopefully gonna start embracing Sydney's socializing side and try to get her into some clubs. Debate class is currently going on. Sorry, not class, but organization. Debate is currently on. So we're actually going to... Um, Oh, Josie Jett is a judge. And then is this Krishna? Is this the guy we used to? This is Abel. So we actually used to live with Abel. So we're actually gonna tell him an engaging story. And as you guys know, she has been getting into the debate skill. She actually needs to reach level five, but she's currently on a level four. So she is pr doing pretty well. Like I'm not too mad at her. She's doing very, very well. But we are gonna ask if we can join debate guild and we're also gonna clean up the statue as well because this is serious We need to uh, to get rid of that Sydney is now a member of the debate guild She has been given an official debate guild organization t-shirt and poster as welcoming gifts. Oh my goodness. We love free stuff <gasps> Oh look and she's got a Hydro flask. It's not a hydro flask. It's just a cup, but we are gonna sell it. Damn, do you sell for five simoleons? You could run a business up in here. So let's, um, we literally have like no room for posters. Excuse me, this isn't our poster. That needs to go your side of the room. We are gonna put our debate guild. Uh, excuse me, why can't I put it up behind here? Sims, you make no sense. But we're gonna put it up here for now. I'm gonna change it because it looks super, super silly down there. I also wanna see the t-shirt, man. I wanna see what the Debate Guild t-shirt is like. Uh, I guess mm, we probably have to plan the outfit. It's probably unlocked in Create a Sim, but yes. Spray that statue with holy water. So we got her into debate. She needs to convince a sim to do something and research any topic. So this is the perfect part to show you guys one of the uh, the new, ooh, he's a debate member. Can we convince him to do something? Let's give him a cheerful introduction. Stop trying to do your homework and stop listening to the debate. I wanna convince this guy to do something. Oh, he looks so nice. He's so sweet. We're gonna discuss the debate. Why is he dripping wet? Oh no. Oh no. I definitely, I regret talking to this man. Anyone who is like dripping wet whilst it's sunny outside, I I get I get a little bit. That's a little bit shady, you know. You have to, you really have to question what this man Julian has been doing this morning. So we need to convince him to do something. I think this is under friendly, but I don't know. How do we convince you to? do something. Is that a thing in itself? We can perform, oh, convince to. It is, we can convince him to do a keg stand. Beesh, I don't even know where our nearest keg stand is, so I don't even know if he's like gonna do it or what. But we apparently convinced him to do it. There is no keg stand around, but he is gonna go home and he is gonna buy a keg stand. He is gonna do it. So we also need to research any topic. So we're gonna head out to the library and get our research on. I did also say we were gonna go on a date with Orange, which we are still going to do. Don't tell me that there's no research machines in this freaking library. Are you? Oh no, these are research machines. I was about to pop off. Did you see me? I was getting my debate ready about why there should be research stations. So let's research. Good writing through feedback. Gibbs Hill Urban Legends, gardening, fitness, uh, cooking, comedy, acting, AI in robotics, logic, the instinct, professional, VIDI, bleh, VDIY, programming standards, methodologies, photo editing, rocket discoveries, local secret society. Let's research the secret society because we are intrigued. I 
I said this in the last part, I know. I know how to get into the secret society. I did it in my early access video. I hustled and bustled whilst I was at Sims camp for Discover University. And I ended up begging on my knees in front of Sim Guru Joel, just being like, dude, how do I get into the secret society? Because I have tried and I have passed misinformation on. And we all know that that is a disease for the modern world. And so everyone was trying to like befriend the secret society because I was like yeah surely you just like befriend them and then you become a part of it no not the case but I want her to like try and figure it out like I don't just want this to be like oh yeah the player knows how to do it so we're just gonna do it if she can't figure anything out error 404 something went wrong okay so we researched a topic and it did not come up so let's research Gib Hill's urban legend. We are currently in Gib Hill, so maybe we'll come up with something interesting. I really wish that this was a little cafe. I do kind of wish that they could introduce rabbit holes in the world, you know, like little places like this. I wish you could just go in and you could like eat some breakfast. I know that I have always been against open world, but like that would be so stinking cute. There is a legend among the locals about the iconic quad statues for the University of Brightchester and Foxbury. It's been said that if the students offer gifts to their respective statues, it could improve their look with grades and academic success. Desserts and baked goods are said to bring the most good fortune, though many say that may just be a rumor spread by a resourceful anonymous local with an affinity for sweets. You know what that means? Uh, why are we research? Research any topic on a research archive machine, purchase one in build or buy or visit the student commons. I am researching and it ain't working. Maybe I have to like research like an actual topic. So like drama, but honestly, that just seems boring. So we need some baked goods. Clearly we gotta get our baked goods on, which is bad because um, we don't have a kitchen. So maybe we'll have to visit home. We'll just be like, yeah, hey dads, uh, cool. I just need to use your oven. You know, usually students go home because they need to use their parents' washing machine uh, or their iron. They can't really be bothered doing their own washing. So they drive home with their laundry and they're just like, hey, could you maybe wash my bed in for me? I never got the privilege to do that, unfortunately, because my university was a solid like three hour train journey away. And I also didn't know how to drive in university. And even if I did know how to drive whilst I was in university, I wouldn't have had a car because that would have been expensive. And I didn't have the money for that as a broke ass student. So I had never had the luxury of going home unless I was going home for like a birthday or something of that nature. Wow, this is taking a while. So while Sydney's researching this, I'm really sorry if you guys can hear some like bangs or noises in this video. I'm trying to like cut the video when it happens, but I am on a pre-recording stint right now. And whenever I'm on a pre-recording stint, people just seem to work on their houses and next door are having some work being done in their garden, which is like literally, <laughs> Like right down there so they can probably hear me talking um but yeah they're having some work done on their house so if you can hear any noises i apologize but while she's doing this i want to give you guys a big thank you there's a lot of university lps out there at the moment and i really really appreciate you lot tuning into this one you've all left some freaking lovely feedback. I was, as I've said in the past, I was scared that I was taking a little bit slower than a lot of people were, but it seems that you guys are really enjoying it. A lot of you have left really lovely comments, like it feels like I'm playing along with you. It feels like we're discovering university together. So honestly, guys, from the bottom of my heart, it really means a lot to me because I'm always scared that like LPs are like so oversaturated these days but like I am a storyteller first and foremost in The Sims 4, always have been, 
always will be. It's what I love to do. I love to get so involved with my sims. I care about them like they're my babies. And the fact that you guys are like happy to watch me play this Let's Play when there are so many others out there also playing it, just genuinely like hand on heart ridiculously means the most to me. So thank you all so much. If this doesn't count as researching any topic, oh, acting techniques has increased Sydney's acting skill. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Sydney. So she managed to do that, which is good. Um, she got herself up in the debate guild a little bit, although she does still need to uh, become better friends. Oh my god, Omar's out here. What's he got in his hand? Why are you walking around with trash in your hand? Boy, what are you doing? Also, why are you wearing shorts? I uh, don't think I gave them a makeover, so I think he's still wearing all of his summer wear. But we should go on a date. We really haven't spent quality time with our boyfriend, and you know, university is a busy time, so it's gotta be done. We're finally on the date with our man so we are gonna hug him we need to socialize with our date 10 times obviously we need to sit and talk to our date and we need to have both sims be flirty at the same time orange is looking a little worse for wear he's looking a bit angry we're gonna try and calm his emotions because if he's in a happy mood then it's gonna be way easier to get him into a flirty mood what the hell is curtis doing <gasps> Oh, big brother. Oh my God. I forgot he was still part of the party animals. I need to change that because Lionel definitely ain't a party animal anymore. Oh, we can only share excitement. We're going to brighten his day. And we're also going to... Can we hug him, please? It's been a really long time since we saw our big brother. We actually didn't go home. I don't know if any holidays will actually fall. I might set seasons to a week for university because I kind of want like the girls to go home for Christmas and stuff. Like I can imagine them, or Sydney at least, like decorating her dorm or their house if they're in a house by then. I could definitely see her getting super into it. Also, I don't know if I've shown you guys this lot but this is actually Kayla's reno of the pub I think it's called Peppa's pug, uh, pub or something like that but yeah this is actually Kayla's reno except I changed this bit I actually added in oops there's a table there that I forgot to move back so let's put that table over here for a second so yeah this is the pub and then downstairs I actually put in some bowling. So we're actually gonna bowl, invite to bowl a three frame game and we are just gonna do it with our date with Orange, our boyf. Okay, so yeah, this I just added in. It actually reminds me, I have, I used to go to a place like this in Newcastle. We won that we had one that was called All Star Lanes, I think it was called. But there's also one in Manchester where I go to often celebrate my birthday because if you don't know this about me, I am super hella competitive. So anywhere that has like a pool table or a bowling alley or a mini golf scenario where sometimes you can also drink alcohol, you know, that's the preferred variant. I will celebrate my birthday there with all of my friends and if they don't let me win, then I get rid of them because I deserve better. No, I don't. That's a lie. But I do genuinely love doing anything that's like a slightly competitive sport, but still in like a fun scenario. Like I wouldn't, probably would never join like a sports team again. Oh, Sydney. As you can tell, Sydney is not the competitive type or the sporty type. She is not sporty in the slightest. Oh my god, she just got a strike. Are you for realsies? And soccer starts for Joanne in an hour. We really can't like talk to our date as we are playing bowling, but it is only three frames and there is only two of them. But I think this is his first frame. Yeah, just keep getting strikes. That's great. That will speed this process up. I can imagine Orange definitely being the winner of this one. But can you socialize with your date instead of socializing with Oliana. Like seriously, we don't know Oliana in the slightest. Why would you try and get to know her right now? You one need to continue playing bowling or else I am gonna lose my shiz. So big shout out to Lil Simsy for creating this reno of this bar. It's 
awesome. I'm gonna show you guys around a little bit. So this is all little Simsies. I actually got rid of something at the back and added in a TV instead because I kind of wanted to give it like a little sports bar vibe. Um, then we also have a juice pong table or ping pong table. Is this a mirror? I've never seen, oh, wait, how has she done that? How has she got a mirror like that? Is it a mirror or is it the wall just cut away? I think the walls actually just cut away, which is really weird. I thought it was a mirror, but it's not. And then upstairs, she has more tables. And then I also like changed this area into like a little poetry area. I can't really remember what was here. I don't know if it was like a dartboard. There was something here. I think this was actually the TV. I think the TV was up here, but I changed it into like a little like poetry open mic night, like little cozy space because students are hella into that kind of stuff. So that's what we went for instead. All right, we're gonna have to stop bowling because this is just gonna take ages. So let's sit together. Don't go upstairs. Okay, we're going upstairs. Okay, I see how it is. Well then, how about we go and order a drink for both of us? So let's order drinks for group. We are gonna get ourselves, um, let's go for Fizzy fruity drinks, don't chat with him. Uh, go order your drinks and then you can both sit together and just have like a nice cute little date. Catch up on your classes, see what he's been getting up to. Cause you know, university is a really tough time for relationships. We've already seen it with these two. Work gets in the way, real life gets in the way. You know, you wanna like socialize and make new friends. And sometimes you feel like your partner's holding you back. But in the end, as long as you guys reconnect and like find that, then it's all good. So hopefully her and Orange can uh, can get through university together. But I don't know, Sydney's a little bit jealous. You know, he's he's a quite a celebrity around town. Oh my God, this dude just stole his drink. That is savage. But let's go sit together, please. We already ordered drinks, so we need to go sit together and enjoy each other's company. Girl, why are you sat the opposite end of the bar? Go and sit with your boyfriend right now. Move that ass. Right, go, Sydney. Am, am I gonna have to give you a talking to? This is not a good social event. Oh, she just left her drink. Okay, this is sick, man. This date is going so well. Excuse me, boy. Go sit down on that stool. If you sit down on this one, oh my God, you're the worst. We need to tell him a story. We, we could argue about politics. You know what? It's a little bit testy. They don't even want to sit next to each other. Like they literally don't want to sit opposite each other. So I have a feeling that the game's giving me off a vibe that tells me that this relationship isn't the sweetest right now. They are feeling a little testy. We're gonna do a self-deprecating joke. She is also, oh, she's not gonna be happy about that. She's like, oh, so you're attracted to Clara or Ciara, I think her name's Ciara. Kiara, I don't know how you want to pronounce that. I always pronounce it a different way. Kira, Ciara, Kiara, completely up to you. But I'm gonna, for the purpose of this let's play, call her Ciara. We are gonna, she's feeling really bad. All the girls are freaking hitting on him. Oh my goodness, she is not gonna be happy about this. We could break up with him. No, we're gonna give him the cold shoulder. We're gonna be like, you know what? We're gonna give you the cold shoulder because you're just flirting with all of these girls right in front of my eyes. She's also feeling a little bit dazed. I mean, look at her little face. She, she proper gave him the cold shoulder. She freaking moved seats. This guy is also, you, are, you, are you doing your homework drunk? That is not a good look. Rangi, I don't think you should be doing that. Look at her, she's in such a huff. <gasps> Sydney is not impressed with his games. I do feel kind of harsh though, because he hasn't really done anything. Like he hasn't done anything bad. It's just like, she's feeling very fragile right now. So she is just gonna call off this date. She's gonna end it early. It was a date, if not the most successful date ever. Check your Sims household inventory for a consolation prize, a book. 
And she is being... Did he literally just flirt with someone? She just got the be jealous reaction. Caught the love of her life flirting with another. Okay, I was joking about the Sierra thing, but I genuinely think that he was just flirting with her. Okay, this calls for another drink. We are gonna order our favorite drink. It better be alcoholic, I swear. If she doesn't have an alcoholic favorite drink, this is not gonna go down well. Girl, go treat yourself to an alcoholic beverage. Feel like you need it after that date. And then, do we know any of our professors? This is about to get naughty. This is about to get real naughty. She thinks he's attractive, this elder, who I know is a professor, but I don't know if he's counted as like her professor. Serena is also a professor. Oh my god, I thought she just had like an old man king then, but fortunately she found she finds Ekram unattractive. So I'm glad we don't have that. I wanna know if he's our profession profesh profesh Um should we just invite him out? Should we just try it? See if Thomas wants to come out? Invite to hang out at current law. If he is our freaking I'm gonna be I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. Oh, she also has instant regret. She's feeling very conflicted. She gave him the cold shoulder before he cheated, might I add. I don't, I don't know if he cheated. I think he said a flirty comment to Ciara. I think that's what he did to uh, activate the, the jealous thing. We need to order some food as well. Why can I not talk? Let's order some french fries. We are feeling sad about ourselves. So of course we're gonna drown our feelings in french fries and alcohol because that's the way you deal with things whilst you're in university. Trust me, I know very well. McDonald's was the hot spot of my uni career. You know, you wanted a night out, it better have ended in McDonald's or else it just wasn't worth it. Don't tell me that everyone's clearing out at 10 p.m. Thomas is not coming. I'm inviting him to hang out at current lot and he said he was gonna come, but he's definitely not here. I'm really sorry guys, but I'm gonna have to end this video here because the hammering is just getting louder and louder. So I'm gonna have to wrap up here. Hopefully I'll go get lunch, I'll take a break, I'll chill myself out. But we're gonna start off the next part right where this part ended. It's gonna be fun, trust me. So this guy is a professor and just to give you guys a tease if we go over here there's a little professor interaction and we can ask homework questions we could ask about our grade and we can also maybe ask for a higher grade but we do need to get our relationship up to do so so with that teaser i'm gonna end this part here i hope you guys can tune in to the next one i know that's so naughty of me i shouldn't be doing cliffhangers but you know we all love a good cliffhanger every now and again thank you all so much for tuning into this part tune into the next one if you want to find out what sydney is gonna get up to and i will speak to you all in my next one bye guys